What's good everyone? Back with another Fair Shake review. This time, we're taking a look at Underrated by Partisan Fontaine. So, if you didn't know, uh, Partisan Fontaine is uh, one of Cardi B's uh, most frequent uh, co-writers um, for you know, all of her music and uh, this is kind of like his first project uh, that that he is kind of putting out for the world after you know essentially being behind uh, a lot of Cardi's excellent pain game for uh, Invasion of Privacy and um, Backing It Up came out um, you know way earlier in the year and, and um, kind of made people be like oh man par Cardi's kind of dope um, and it's great that he's got Cardi in there too and they're both killing it um, and that, that garnered a lot of attention and um, so some people like myself was interested well I wonder what his own material is really going to be like and is it going to be more more along the lines of like kind of what it is it does with Cardi and with back and up or, or is there going to be even more to him because he does have a very, very uh, uh, entertaining style. And uh, so when he come, go in here um, and, and, and start up the project, we get not there yet. And, and uh, it's, it's very uh, underdog story kind of, kind of material and uh, with a lot of ambition. Um, and basically he talked about the success he has so far um, and and how he still doesn't feel like he's there yet um, because he, he still has a long way to go when it comes to recognition of uh, his own skills and people expecting a lot of his material and stuff like that and, and he, he did a really good job very very kind of a slick witty style um, that he really portrays on it. And then we get to Too Late with Jada Kiss, uh, another pretty cool song, more more bars, uh, even more uh, braggadocio on it. Same with uh, Take It Down um, with uh, Offset. Also pretty pretty interesting track. Uh, not, not one of my favorites though. Then we get Southside and with Southside he yeah, shoulders uh, the the raps more on his own again, and and that also goes pretty hard. But um, also just talking about, uh, if I remember correctly, I'm talking a little bit about uh, where he grew up um, and how he was raised, being that he wasn't necessarily the gangster dude, um, but he you know still came from the street, um, so pretty good track right there I really really enjoyed that but then basically from there it switches to what I feel he excels in to tracks for the girls um, which um, totally makes sense being that he has been the writer for Cardi and with you know the whole one kind of woman taking over um, the hip-hop um, the music that caters to them is really something that's gonna be, you know, uh, make waves. Uh, because uh, you get to backing it up right there uh, with Cardi B. Um, two cell phones doesn't necessarily go down that route, but once you go on from there, you get Shea Butter, Pay Bills, Good For You, Peach with City Girls. Uh, Rodman, sometimes Money Machine, all of those, even underrated, is just kind of like all catered to the women and praising them, talking about maybe one that he does have that that he appreciates, um, or just saying, "Yo, I'll take care of you. I can pay your bills because uh, I got I'm paid. You you fine. You don't you don't take junk from nobody." All that kind of stuff that that uh, you know kind of bigs up the independent women these days um, is all that he talks about. It is truly his bread and butter, um, and 
and he he kills that jump from from start to finish. To me, I would call him the modern day like Fab Fabulous when he he is on his his girl song tip or LL Cool J when he was on his girl song tip. Like I think he is the modern day the 2010 like late 10 to whatever on else his career goes uh, to he's that version of or even even Ja Rule when he was on his uh, girl song run I feel like he totally have that lane in the bag uh, because the despite you know it being a lane that has been done in the past it is delivered in a, a new, new modern way that fits this very a I'm going out to the club twerking don't care I'm down to scam these men and, and, and you know use my looks to get this money um, kind of climate that we're in uh, in in the current state of culture with the, the young adults it seems if I'm basing it off of the music and the stuff that uh, the, the females that I've been around listen to um, so it, he, he knows his market and he's cornered it is, is basically what I get from this now um, does that mean I want to listen to it a whole lot not really but when, but I can definitely say he does it well great beat choice throughout um, to match exactly what he's talking about and I have to admit dude dude knows knows how to rap he, he can be witty at, at times and he, he can get a couple of lines that make you make you be like oh that, that was kind of cool um, but um, it's not stuff that I personally uh, am going to go back and, and be like yo so many quotables because it's more so going to be like females that quote it. There's a lot of Instagram quotables, a lot of Instagram caption worthy lines that dude ends up putting up where it's just kind of more so empowering uh, for females, which I feel is going to be his main market and the guys who, um, you know, like to have the girl around, they probably know that he that they could put him on in the mix with like the city girls, Megan Thee Stallion, and, and like Doja Cat, stuff like that. That help you know be like girl power, Summer Walker, and all that. Like they could probably throw in some partisan Fontaine to get a, a bit of the guy's perspective and still cater to the female. Um, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts. Of partisan Fontaine, uh, he, he he's he's pretty good. It's not for me, but let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and uh, until next time, much love, peace, peace.